Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my music rally guide where I am aiming to get you gold on every single track. So last episode we did number 4. Today we're going to be doing number 5, Green Monster by Mashakia Ando. We're at the WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Sega in the Toyota 2000 GT. So we're going to just quickly run through again, no ranking board. We're going to run through the assists as well. We are using a wheel with no assists apart from the braking indicator. So with that all said and done, let's get into this race. So we can earn you gold as quickly as possible. So this is going to be my first attempt. As you can see there up the top, we have a bronze time of 3.54. We have a silver time of 3.64. And we have a gold time of 3.73 miles. So I keep saying time, it is of course not time, it is distance. We have to travel as far as we can within the music timer. So at Laguna Sega, it is not one of my specialty tracks. I have a love-hate relationship with this track. Some days I love it, some days I absolutely hate it. I'm going to see which of those days it is today. A little bit further into the video. The car, I mean it handles a bit better than some of the other cars we've driven in the Music Rally so far. You don't really need to be too wary. I think it's got a bit more power, so you have to be a bit more easy on the throttle. And of course, no stamping on the brakes. You have to build the brakes up nice and slowly with these road cars. Especially the old ones. As you can see there, I only need about 20% braking all the way into this corner. I have to go a little bit deep, so that's not the best example. But I will give you a bit of a lap guide coming on to lap 2. Do let me know if these lap guides help you out, if they help you improve at all. Coming round here to start the second lap. Make sure we get a nice exit onto the start straight. Now of course these lap guys you can also use for the first lap, I just think it's a bit more calmer to do the lap guide on the second lap. So coming in to turn number one, we're going to be looking for the free board or the white line, we're going to be braking about 50 meters before that, we're going to be hard on the brakes all the way down with trail braking into the apex, feather, feather that throttle. Make sure you don't go too wide on the exit as I did there. For turn number two, you're gonna to wanna to have about half braking. Just get it slowed down enough so that you can get it turned in on that power as early as possible. Into turn three, you're gonna to wanna to lift at the end of the curve. Back on the power before you actually hit the apex. That will give you a good run in third gear. That's gonna help you with traction on the exit. Now you can't really see it, but we're gonna be hard on the brakes at the free board. Get it turned in, feather the throttle, I could have been on the power a lot earlier there. Now coming up to turn number 5, you can take this quite quite fast, we're going to brake just after the 2 board. A little bit of brake input, careful on the throttle so that we don't understeer wide. Once you enter that gravel you are not coming back for a very long time. Unfortunately we're not going to have enough time to complete another lap, so we can't complete the track guide. However, if you go back to the previous lap and you pause it in certain braking zones, then you will be able to take references from that. But we did it quite comfortably this time. Do let me know if this guide has helped you at all, whether it's improved your personal best or just got you back into racing the Music Rally. I'm personally having a lot of fun with this series and with racing the races that no one really does anymore. So it's nice to get back into the offline mode of Gran Turismo 7. But I hope this video has helped you. I hope to see you in the next video. 
Don't forget to like the video if you are enjoying the content and subscribe so that you never miss a video. But that's going to do it for me. Take care and goodbye.